Hello guys, welcome back to my page. I'm still your girl, Tochi Williams on mm -hmm. My people, we are here to review the uh, last episode of the worst, another worst marriage from Emma Chinedu. You know, <laughs> when I saw the look on Vivian's face, when Nick told her that she's losing everything, that her body sags, <laughs> it got me laughing, seriously. But somehow Nick was so arrogant too. Anyways, that is what fits Vivian so much because, you know, she's going to do worse if she happens to be in Nick's shoes. Okay, then the part where the father beat her mercilessly, seriously, as, as in kudos to that man, I just wish and pray that all fathers are like that. Their daughters will not be messing up. Seriously. Because he he gave a Vivian the worst beating of her life. You know? Even to the point that uh, 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 Mark started telling him that this is my wife, you are beating like this, 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 this and that. And so, even if she's your wife, since you cannot control your wife, the father is still there to do that for you. But come to think of it, do you think it's right for father-in-law to come to your house and discipline your wife, his daughter, like this? I don't know, but to me, I believe uh, what he did is right, since the husband cannot put uh, Vivian in check. So, again, the part where <laughs> uh, Vivian tell, uh, told Mark that, are you going to sit down there and... Uh, get me down there, let them start asking me questions, you know, embarrass me and all of that. And Mark and Vivian, Mark promised Vivian that nobody will question her. But where are you coming from? Do you see the reaction of Vivian? This Vivian is a, a crook. She's a crook. <laughs> How she w rushed Mark immediately and tell her that you're a coward for asking me that question. You promised me that nobody will ask me a question. And here you are the first to ask me a question. Is she expecting that Mark will not ask her questions when she slept outside her, his house? Hey, now wow. But to tell you the truth, some women are like that. I'm telling you, their husband, they cannot even say anything. You know? So, <laughs> but I really appreciate uh, Vivian's father. Then, do you, do you, do you uh, watch where Vivian's mother was asking Vivian, I hope your mother-in-law is dead by now. Imagine that. Hey! This woman, eh, she, as in she, she, she and her daughter, they are destroyers. And they are in Mark's life to destroy him and destroy everything about the family. But thank God for someone like Helen. Had it been that Helen did not move that night to the village, I bet you they would have achieved their aim. But thank God for someone like Helen and the, the Mark's friend who helped her out. You know, but to tell you the truth, had it been the guy did not accept to uh, help Ma uh, Helen out that night, Helen would have go there on her own because she's a brave woman and she knows what she's out to fight against. Knowing fully well that if she did not do the needful, that uh, Vivian would do to the mother what she did to Uju because whatever happens to Uju comes from Vivian. Quote me anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, the thing is that I really, and I really, as in, this particular episode is very, very interesting. Although it was somehow short, but what, what can we do if not to expect the next episode? So it's very, very interesting. I really enjoyed it. Then, the, another part that <laughs> I like so much is when uh, Mark told the father-in-law not to question Vivian in front of Ben and her girlfriend. And the answer, the answer that the father gave to him is what makes me very happy. The father told him that she, she had belittled herself the moment she did that to their notice. Because she left the house, because she's a troublemaker. Nobody will assume that she's inside the room. Because had it been she's a peaceful soul who will always be on her own, they might be assuming that she is inside the house. You know, but for the fact they know that had it been she is here, she would have come out to make troubles with them. She did not come out. And when Mark also came out to come and look for her, <laughs> okay, when Mark asked the uh, father in law in front of Ben and her girlfriend, didn't uh, Vivian come with you? And he told him 
that Vivian did not sleep in his house. That have explained everything. So guys, I really love this episode and I'm sure you do. Let's watch out for the next episode which will be coming out soon. Thanks for watching. Please help me share this video and tell me what you think about this episode on the comment section. Uh, Imagine is doing a great job. Kudos to her. Kudos to him, sorry. Bye for now. Love you guys. Share this video. Don't forget to share this video, okay?